hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to talk and learn about ai prompts within ai builder capabilities and that is well integrated with the power platform now we can leverage ai custom prompts within our power apps and power automate to make our automation process more effective by doing uh, the automation of business day-to-day -day business interactions reading out the long long emails summarizing the document classifying the information out of text and categorizing the information as well so as i said like uh, ai prompts is now integrated with power platform so you can actually go or discover the ai capabilities within power platform you can very well go into the make.powerautomate.com power automate studio or via power app studio as well when you click on this more information you will see this discover all button where you will find the ai hub section where you will see that ai models and ai prompts so this is the feature which we are going to talk today so what ai prompts gives us how we can create our custom prompts can use them into power automate or power apps so most of you may already be aware about prompts what are prompts so think about a prompts in a natural language that any activity or task which you want to ask to llms which they can interpret and give you a result uh, your desired result so that is called as prompt and if i click on this ai prompts so in this power platform we see the pre-built models which are already given to us which we can directly leverage or we can create the custom prompts based on our requirement so right now if i just uh, hover on this card you can see create text using custom prompt respond to complaint classify text these are all pre-built models extract information from text so this one is probably like better suited for any of the form filling for example we want to uh, ask our customers to fill some invoice form where they write they fill up all the 15 20 fields and then click on save button probably they can just simply enter their information in a normal natural language uh, way for example uh, stationery of 20 pencils or pens costing one dollar unit that they can enter into a normal uh, text language and then we can interpret using ai prompts uh, extract that information and use that into particular variables and then save it lately summarize text could be one of the scenario where you want to summarize the long long emails into few points to few actionable points so that it can be leveraged classified text you can classify your text based on the categories so if a prompt is related to animals cars space then you can classify you would able to get the categories out of that those prompts so these pre-built prompts we are going to work with today with power automate and power apps so let's get started and we can create very well create any custom prompt based on our requirement so from here if you click on this create text using prompt you will be given this builder screen where you can see an example example of this custom prompt summarize last message into the account attached file content and you can create this custom prompt so once you click on this one you can start creating from template template means all the pre-built models so you can use classified text summarize text and if you click on any of this you will see like you are given with input which you can ask into your power automate or power apps text to classify the input of this and then category list which category list you want to classify so as i said if a question is related to animals if a question is related to uh, let's say space science then you can classify that using this category list whatever categories you want to have so you can customize do some changes into the wording and then save that as a custom prompt so you can create custom prompts and share those custom prompts within your team within your organization so that's how you can do but in today's uh, video we are going to stick on these default pre-built models only and we are going to create one power automate which will be leveraging this pre-built model to task to summarize some information to us so how you can use them into real time into any power automate that we are going to learn today so i'm going to this create button so that i can start creating one instant cloud flow and that flow i'll say like prompts demo and i'll choose the trigger as manual one for time being though you can bind it to any of the trigger so let's say if we don't want to have this manual trigger we can 
delete this one and have this tied up to a trigger when an incoming email is received so i'll just type incoming email i receive any long long email then i want to interpret the summarized view of that long email so let's uh, choose this as office 365 then new email arrives into my mailbox so this will connect to my mailbox so right now it's a different person's mailbox so i'll just choose to mine and whenever and the email is received into this mailbox what i wish to do i wish to first of all convert the body of my email into plain text so that i can pass that to ai prompt ai prompt cannot read the html or any images so just to be cautious so i'll use html to text converter into the content conversion so i'll as an input i'll choose the dynamic value as from this when a new email arrives as body and now in the next step here comes the ai builder prompts I'm going to type ai create prompt so that we can create a prompt custom prompt so let me type in custom prompt create a text with gpt using a prompt so this action we are going to use and in this prompt which type of prompt we want to we want to summarize this document so you can summarize this document is my custom prompt and these in this AI reply classify these are pre-built ones. So I am going to use this AI summarize, which is a pre-built one. You can test your prompt. So let's say I'll just actually copy some text for that. I will open my Outlook. I'll just copy one long email so that I can actually copy paste that content of that email and we should get a summary out of it. So I'll just copy this entire content which is there. This is nothing but a short story and i'll just copy this into my test prompt just to test whether i'm getting a right result so i got summary of my this long text out of my this pre-built model so same one we are going to use and input text into this action we are going to pass the ht the plain text which is converted from our previous tab and in this we can have this additional parameter but not required for this one and the second one if i just click on this next action and i wish to post the summary into my one of the team chat or channel so i am going to use this post post as you can say user if you wish to and then post in which channel i would choose a theme id so i'll just say my generic general team id into my default channel and the message i am going to use this dynamic value from the text which is generated from create text with G gpt using prompt and in this advanced parameter i am going to use this subject so that i can say that this email is from is for what and from whom so i'll just pick this subject from my subject of my email the initial one which i receive and from the person name from we got the email the email address so now i'm going to save it and as soon as i save you may be getting one warning that we have to actually insert one start and wait for an approval uh, after the convergence so that some human interaction can happen so that the, the generative text can be reviewed by somebody as manually. So it's a part of responsive AI. That's why this warning comes up where Microsoft wants all the generated text to be reviewed by someone before being actually used in practical applications. So you can have it, it's a just a warning. You can ignore this and do a test for uh, this flow. So I'll just send one email to myself with the, some overview content and i am expecting that to be summarized in a couple of paragraphs and posted into teams channel so i'll just send that email to myself and subject i'll put short story kids and i'll paste the content which we actually tested into our prompts as well and i'll send this email 
and wait for our paradomate to trigger and we'll go to paradomate our flow ran successfully and i'll open up my teams so that we can see whether our channel received that summarized message or not so this is the summary which i just caught into my this generic teams channel and this is the entire summary which we got using our custom ai prompt so this is how i just showed you one example where you can use this custom ai prompts to be leveraged into your power automate to summarize the text long long emails or whatever long input you get the same way the other models can be used so i'll just take one example of this ai prompt into power apps now i'll just close this power automate because we are good with this one and i'll just open power make.powerapps.com so that we can quickly create one power apps with one screen where we will be having one input prompt and we'll be leveraging the, again the pre-built model to categorize our content so i just go to apps and create app from blank and in this screen i would be just simply having one text box button and then a response whatever we get from our ai pre-built models and as i said i will be just placing up one input text and one button and one text label so this one i'll just say that generate you can say generate or classify because in this example we are going to take help of classify model of ai and before that i have to add my this ai classify connector so you can see all the connectors are available over here so this classify type summarize and then we have ai entity or extract so this is the connector i was talking about if you wish to just allow your customers to input the information into natural language just like uh, tan laptop sold on price of this and then you this ai model will act, extract the information out of that natural language and put that into the actual entity and save when uh, wherever you want to save in a dataverse or sharepoint list so that's how you can use or leverage this ai extract so i may create one more video related to this uh, form information extraction because it's a it would be a quite long video and for now i'll just use the ai classify so that i can classify the input information into my predefined categories so i added up this connector and again we got this ai generated content can have mistakes it's just a warning as part of responsive ai so we should be cautious we should have some human interaction in between to review the generated content so now as i said on this button selection i would actually call up one formula and that we are going to use as let's say i just use one variable results out of this my ai classify dot predict and predict inside i'll pass on the text input as text input dot text and categories i'll define my categories which my this uh, prompt should be classifying to so i'll just say categories as cars animals space i can write as many as category i wish to and into my this text label i'll use the text as the result which i get out of my prompt result as a text and i'll just save it and we'll just run it so i am going to type in fastest car in the world and when i click on classify i got the category as cars question is related to that which is the ninth planet classify i got the category as space so this actually this ai classify text this prompt would be used to classify the information so you can think about the scenarios where you can use this ai classify prompt to classify your information it could be related to it hr invoice sales something like that in your real time scenarios so that's how we can leverage this custom ai prompts that is it about this video next video which i 
going to create is related to AI extract where I would be extracting the information from my natural language and fill out the actual details into the backend. So that is it for today's video. If you have any questions, then do drop your comments and do subscribe and like my video. Thank you.